from rise today in strong opposition to H.J. Res 2, the disgraceful so-called balanced budget amendment. You know, it's been said again and again on this side of the aisle, but I think it warrants saying it even, even more. Uh, the, the Republicans passed their tax bill for the wealthiest 1 percent, which blew tremendous holes into the deficit. So coming here now a few months later and s purporting to be concerned uh, about the rising deficit, I mean, it's just the actions are different than the words because the, the Republican tax scam blew a hole in the deficit made it very difficult. So, you know, if you really want to change and you really want to have a balanced budget, the way to do it is to sit down with both sides and try to figure out a way to, a way to do it that's equitable, not something that only helps 1% and has devastating uh, cuts for the rest of Americans. So, um, the Republican uh, tax cuts will balloon the federal deficit by nearly two million over the next decade. And again, this is not about balancing the budget. This is an attempt to push an extreme agenda that will result in disastrous cuts to vital programs that benefit Americans. Medicare would be cut by 200 billion by 2025. Medicaid and health care subsidies by 150 billion. Social Security by 325 billion. And veterans disability compensation would be cut by up to 30 billion. And not only will this hurt the elderly, our veterans, and the sick, but this dangerous amendment will also tie the hands of the federal government and make it impossible for Congress to respond to urgent matters of national security like natural disasters, like international security crises. We on the Foreign Affairs Committee are always worried about that, obviously. Or a dramatic turn down on the economy. We won't be able to react to this. So this amendment makes future increases in the debt limit nearly impossible, threatening the full faith and credit of our country. So I urge my colleagues to oppose this measure and work together to find responsible solutions to create jobs, reduce Gentlemen's the deficit, and take care of the American people. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman